The COVID-19 pandemic has created disruption across the world and is spreading across the Caribbean. Up to news time Friday, Jamaica has recorded eight cases in the matter of three days. And this could increase as authorities do their tracing of persons who were in contact with infected persons. Most of the cases discovered so far are imported, mostly from the UK, who already has over 600 cases thus far, with deaths reaching double figures. Schools have been closed for 14 days and the government has banned public gatherings for the next two weeks. Already, the storied Boys and Girls Track and Field Championships slated for later this month has been cancelled. The Ministry of Tourism has also suspended events for the month of March and it would be noted to see if churches will congregate this weekend. A Scotia Bank branch in New Kingston was closed immediately as it was discovered that one of the patients identified with COVID-19 visited the branch and interacted with staff there. A U.S. Embassy employee in Jamaica who also was tested positive has triggered remedial action at the embassy in Kingston. Guyana recorded its first coronavirus death after a 52-year-old woman who recently visited New York showed up at the Georgetown Public Hospital with respiratory problems and controlled diabetes and hypertension. After she died, it was discovered at the hospital that she had the coronavirus. The emergency unit at the hospital was immediately shut down and sanitized and hospital workers who tended to the woman have been placed in isolation. The Caribbean Airlines plane that the patient traveled on from New York was eventually cleaned and sanitized, and the 13 crew members associated with the flights were placed on self-quarantine for a period of 14 days. Guyana has since beefed up its border control. Trinidad and Tobago and St. Vincent and the Grenadines are the other two Caribbean countries that have also confirmed coronavirus cases this week. Antigua Barbuda on Friday also confirmed its first case of the coronavirus. Here in St. Kitts Nevis, the government, and more specifically the Ministry of Health, continues to advise persons to improve on personal hygiene as precautions to prevent the spread of the disease. The government of St. Kitts and Nevis wishes to assure our citizens and residents that all the necessary steps are being taken to ensure that the Federation is at a high level of preparedness for this outbreak. The working group was instrumental in strengthening surveillance at all ports of entry in the Federation and in conducting a successful simulation exercise to test the alert and communication systems of our national response mechanism. From a political standpoint, the opposition has been calling for increased measures to be taken to prepare, including seeking assistance from overseas. Jamaica has requested from Cuba about 50 to 100 nurses, I think, because they know that their infrastructure is not such that they can deal with it alone. I know from the beginning that the only country that I suspect who can really deal with this, if this were to hit the Caribbean as it's hit in Europe, is Cuba because it has a specific type of infrastructure and its experience from the Ebola. And I've been asking on this government to call the Cubans in, bring in a number of specialists, and ask them to help us to set up, to set up the infrastructure and a plan to deal specifically with it, even to deal with those who would become severely ill. Some personal hygiene items have been sold out, and most notably hand sanitizers in pharmacies and supermarkets across in kits. Some members of the public are not sure if we are ready for the coronavirus. The coronavirus, it is a very serious uh, virus, but I will start in the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis, and I would hope that there are top security measures, especially at the Robert Llewellyn International Airport, where they are screening people, especially when they come from the countries which are more prone or have been infected by the coronavirus. And also, too, um, the cruise ships that come to the Federation, that also should be taken into consideration for security reasons of protecting the citizens of St. Christopher and Nevis. At the moment, we are all concerned about the virus. The virus is a global pandemic at the moment. So the only thing we could do is make sure that we are as prepared as possible. And I think we should do it on an individual level. So every person should do as much as they can to protect themselves and their families. At the moment, that's all we could do. As a country, I don't think we are as ready as we can be. However, there are a lot of other 
larger countries, first world countries that are affected with the virus. And if them, who I think would have taken much more measures and much more precautions than we can, still weren't ready, I don't think we can be as ready. Internationally, sporting and entertainment events have been either cancelled or postponed, including the NBA, European football leagues and competitions, tennis tournaments, and Formula One racing. SK Newsline will continue to monitor the developments of the coronavirus locally, regionally, and internationally. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.